Senator from Delaware. Senator from Delaware. Oh, yeah. Senator from Delaware. What you got, man? Come at me, bro. What you doing, girl? What you doing? What you got to say? Come on. I have to, uh, I was going to talk uh, a little bit about the Affordable Care Act as it relates to uh, uh, Congressman Price has been nominated, as we know, it'd be now, I'm going to skip around a bit, you guys are welcome, um, but I want to give you a little overview of this whole Senate hearing or whatever it is. So, uh, a bunch of senators like uh, Tim Kaine, they, they come and they appeal to a motion, and that's, that's all they do, appeal to a motion, and that's supposed to trump reality. And it does for a lot of people, and that's why they keep getting elected. Um, but anyways, I want to hit on this one, because this is one of the guys that actually tries to use statistics. So I'm going to go to a certain point this guy made on the Senate floor, and we're going to discuss it and break it down a little bit, and discover why Democrats, even in the Senate, are lying pieces of shit or stupid. Either one. I don't know which. We'll, we'll hold any judgments till the end but here we go and i want to come back to where uh, where i was um i'm a uh, i'm democrat proud to be democrat uh tired navy captain i went to graduate school undergraduate at ohio state navy ROTC, studied economics uh, after the navy uh, after the vietnam war moved from california to delaware got an mba at the university of delaware so this guy said he studied economics. Keep that in mind. That's important. And uh, studied some more economics and some other things uh, in the, their MBA program. Became state treasurer, congressman, governor, senator. And I've always been uh, uh, intrigued by how do we harness market forces? How do we harness market forces for good uh, uh, outcomes? Good and there it is, guys. Did you catch that? Now, I'm pointing this out because fuck nightmare fuel, that's why. If you see in my last video, nightmare fuel thinks free market's an ideology. But no, as proven by this guy who has studied economics, the fundamental difference between right-wing and left-wing economics is utilization of the free market. Everyone agrees there are free market forces and the laws of the free market don't change. It's just our friends on the left seem to think that it's okay to try to utilize it and maintain it and and try to use it to our advantage, but that kind of go against that kind of goes against the ideas of free market. Right? You can't intervene and have a free market because it kills the laws of supply, demand and incentive. Which means you won't have a free market, you will have government bureaucracy. Okay, and that's the fundamental difference. Now, the only reason I'm pointing this out is because Nightmare Fuel, that fucking cunt... Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm being a little rough. But he thinks that free market's an ideology because he's so entrenched in his leftist ideology that he, he, he can't interpret reality anymore. He can't. He's a stealth SJW, as Porco Dio likes to call him, which I think is is very fitting. So now we have a basis. There is free market economics, but we just differ on whether we should utilize it or we should not. And utilize it, I think, is a funny term because you, you just can't without hurting the standard of living for everybody. But let's continue to the main point of this guy's argument. I, uh, I have a couple of charts here, Mr. President, I'd like for us to take a look at. Is this the same guy? I think it's the same guy. I can't be fucked with double checking. Anyways, I want to get to one certain point. One point this guy made. Because, of course, I can't stand here with a four hour video and cut every single point. But this is one dishonest point that I just want to point out for everyone. Okay, let's continue. And uh, we have um, a map here on the, uh, my left but on the right of this chart. United States of America, and uh, on the left, uh, my, uh, we have um, Japan, a place I used to fly in and out of a lot when I was a naval flight officer. This guy's funny. I, d I don't know if he just does this for visual effect, but yeah, that's, that's what America looks like, and that's what Japan looks like. Good job. He brings a chart later on that says, who suffers from the repeal of the ACA? And it simply says everyone. It's <laughs> like... Bravo! Bravo! Well done, sir. Oh my god, so much detail in that chart. It tells us so much. <laughs> so dumb. During the Cold War. Um, one of the things that we, uh, we learned uh, a few years ago, 
uh, six or seven, eight years ago, when we were debating what to do, if anything, in the last, uh, the last administration about extending health care coverage to a lot of Americans who don't have it, we looked at uh, countries around the world on the Finance Committee to see who was doing a better job and who was not. And among the interesting things we found out about uh, Japan is uh, they were spending about 8% of uh, gross domestic product to provide health care coverage in uh, the folks in their country, 8%. In the U.S. Uh, at the time, we were spending 18 percent of a gross domestic product, more than twice what they are spending in Japan. Think about eight percent of GDP here to cover help provide healthcare coverage, and 18 uh, percent in the, of GDP in, in the U.S. You might say, well, maybe that's because we're covering a lot more people in the United States than they cover in uh, in Japan. Well, as it turns out, just the opposite is true, because not only do they spend in Japan like half as much as a percentage of GDP as we do, they actually get better results, lower rates of uh, infant mortality, higher rates of longevity among adults, and uh, they cover everybody. They cover everybody. And when the Affordable Care Act was adopted, we had somewhere between 40 and 50 million Americans who go to bed at night without any health care coverage at all. I mean, there's a lot of things I wonder when you, you give me this very vague information. Population's one of them. The region is one of them. The amount of trade is one of them. The fact that they're not separated by states with each one having checks and balances is one of them. You know, there's, there's several factors. But you know what I think about the most? I've lived in Japan for two years, also in the military. I, I wonder how much their lifestyle... And the fact that they are in a very specific region with a very specific type of food that is a staple of everyone's diet. I wonder how much that has to do with it. I wonder how much their emphasis on exercise has to do with it. You know, but let's let's just bypass that because we want to push an agenda. We want to push an agenda that socialized health care works never mind all the input that goes into the uk never mind that america already has many programs for health care that take up so much money that don't work we want one more we want one more because i'm sure it will work this time i'm sure that centralized Government powers overseeing a marketplace hasn't failed anywhere before. And I want to push you th this agenda. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to manipulate the statistics from Japan and make it seem like there is a direct causation between their socialized health care and the good health of their people and completely ignore the thousands of other factors that go into it. This is is the dishonest shit that Democratic senators do. And this is the point I want to get across. Now, they have several other charts, and he did several other charts later, and he wanted to emphasize some correlations between Romney care and stuff like this. And, and I'm in the position where none of it works. Get the fuck out of our faces. Let the market do our thing so we can hypothetically have a supercomputer in everyone's pocket when talking about health care that is the only way competition brings prices down this is the most fundamental economic thing you could you could possibly think and and am i a radical do i think that certain things don't need regulation do i think medications don't need certain regulations no do i think there sh should should be uh certain environmental regulations yes yeah, sure you know, just to, just the bare minimum to prevent people from doing stupid shit. But this, this dishonesty, this direct lying in a position of power is disgusting. It is disgusting. Any kindergartner could look at that and be like, hey, wait a second. Are you sure it's necessarily because of their health care? Or could there be some other things that go into it? Anyways, guys, I hope you semi-enjoyed yourself watching this video. If you didn't, well, I'm sorry about that. Be sure to share this on social media, such as Facebook and Twitter. Get my name. I'm trying to get to 400 subs at some point. Woo! All my friends left me behind, and I'm way back here. Yeah. Oh, goodness sake. Oh, my goodness. Okay, bye. One of the things they do really well in Japan 
is they provide good access to uh, primary health care. And I like to say uh, the Japanese are smart people, and they're good allies of ours, good customers of ours. Uh, they can't be that smart, and we cannot be that dumb.